Hello, this is Dr. Mark Lebois. I'm the chairman of dermatology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. I will be discussing a poster entitled The Efficacy of Sertolizumab Pegol Over Four Years in Psoriatic Arthritis Patients with and Without Concomitant Use of DMARDS, presented by Dr. Walsh and colleagues at the American Academy of Dermatology annual meeting in Orlando, which took place from March 3rd to March 7th, 2017. To summarize this poster, rapid PSA was a phase three study that showed rapid improvement in both joint and skin manifestations of psoriatic arthritis, which were maintained over four years of treatment. This analysis reports sustained improvement in the joint to articular manifestations of psoriatic arthritis with sertolizumab pegol as a monotherapy or with concomitant non-biologic DMARD therapy. The study is important because patients with psoriatic arthritis may be treated with either monotherapy or with combination therapy, depending on the extent and severity of their signs and symptoms. Sustained improvement in symptoms was observed with sertolizumab pegol as monotherapy or a combination with non-biologic DMARD therapy. The methods of the study were as follows. Rapid PSA was a randomized, double-blind, multi-center, placebo-controlled, parallel group phase three study that investigated the efficacy of sertolizumab pegol in adults with psoriatic arthritis. Adults who had failed previous DMARD therapy were included if they had active psoriatic arthritis where, with greater than or equal to three tender joints, greater than or equal to three swollen, finger, swollen joints, and either an erythrocyte sedimentation rate greater than or equal to 28 millimeters or a C-reactive protein greater than or equal to 7.9. Patients were randomized one to one to one to sertolizumab 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams once a week or placebo. Patients randomized to sertolizumab pegol 200 milligrams received a 400 milligram loading dose on weeks zero, two, and four. <clears throat> After 24 weeks, placebo patients were re-randomized to double blind treatment with sertolizumab pegol 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams. Patients treated with Sertolizumab 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams continued double blind treatment through week 48, then open label treatment through week 216. This post hoc study examined the efficacy and safety of sertolizumab pegol in patients with or without concomitant DMAR therapy. Key findings were as follows 273 patients were treated with sertolizumab from week zero. 190, 199 patients in the DMARD plus group and 74 in the DMARD minus group. 58 DMARD patients, this five due to lack of efficacy and 22 due to an adverse event. 32 DMARD minus patients discontinued treatment, four due to lack of efficacy and 14 due to an adverse event. In the DMARD plus group, 75% had no change in DMARD therapy over the four years, while the majority of the remainder reduced or discontinued DMARD use. In the DMARD minus group, 8% initiated DMARD therapy. The results after four years showed the following. American College of Rheumatology score 20, that means ACR 20, was achieved in 79.7% .7 of DMARD plus patients and 83.3% of DMARD minus patients. PASI 75 scores were achieved in 78.1% of DMARD minus patients and 79.2% of DMARD plus patients. Improvements in the dactylitis and enthesitis symptom scores were similar between groups, although improvement in enthesitis was more stable in the DMARD plus group. 50.6% of patients treated with sertolizumab experienced an adverse event judged to be related to study drug. The serious adverse event rate was 11.9 per 100 patient years. Six deaths occurred in the rapid PSA to be related or possibly related to sertolizumab, and infection or infestation occurred in 5.9%. So there are a couple of messages from this uh, poster. Um, first of all, incidents of response, whether patients were on DMARTs or not. Looking at the ACR20 responses, the responses were a nice, almost flat line with the ACR response rates staying in the 80% range, a little bit lower in the low dose treatment group but very close to the high dose treatment group. And whether it was uh, with concomitant DMARDs or without concomitant DMARDs, the degree of the proportion of patients who maintained the ACR20 response remained very high 
in both groups for 216 weeks. So it's an excellent maintenance of response in psoriatic arthritis. Similarly, the PASI responses were maintained in those groups as well. Uh, the improvement in PASI score was um, dramatically uh, improved and stayed flat from weeks 24 to 216. The PASI 75 rate, again, remained relatively flat. And there was actually a very respectable PASI 100 rate in the patients who were um, treated with both doses of sertoluzumab pegol. Similarly, uh, there was a marked improvement that was maintained throughout the 216 weeks in both dactylitis and enthesitis. Uh, and all of those results were similar whether patients were, were maintained on DMARDs or not maintained on DMARDs.